state has a lot of punitive ways to try to change behaviors or to accomplish its goals. How, how do you think, um, well, for example, lately, um, you know, talking about bottom up and top down, you know, uh, I, I understand that the governor recently allowed some kind of program that funded synthetic turf fields. And but, indeed, that's true. I don't and know who. It, I, I, I've spoken to people. I just I, I haven't found anybody who really is gaga about the synthetic turf. And it, it wasn't so much uh, the people that I talked to. They were more concerned about you know uh, torn ligaments and sprains and stuff because I guess your foot kind of sticks to that stuff and you try to. Can you speak to that just for a minute? Because you have a, a son that was involved in football. Yeah. Um, with, and I was discussing it with him to see what his side of, of it would be. He's in his 30s, a different age range, you know, I figure he'll have a different opinion than I, I do. Um, but he was saying, yeah, when it comes to the footing, it's just not the same as either, a, you know, of course not natural grass, but either it would slip or you would get stuck. And he did have a knee injury. Um, he, he, had, he had an ACL? Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. serious. I mean, yes. it's... it's uh, and, and well, I just was watching a game it could have even been a professional football, and it was, you know, not natural grass, and it probably wasn't even the infill, but on the artificial turf, the guy got the, the same thing at ACL with no impact. Nobody hit him, nobody did anything, it was just the footing and the grass that it has on that kind of field. I don't know, understand. And that's a career, that could be a career ending. Is that like, supposed, is that a green thing or what? To recycle it? Like, right. oh, I've <laughs> well, got a green city because my kids play yes. on poison. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. So it's a green. Indeed, it is. Play on grass. Talk about, you know, federal or, or top down or federal trickling down to the national, the EPA back in 2009, 2010. You know, one of their. Um, Purviews is to find ways to handle hazardous waste. I mean, you have, uh, you know, what do they call them? Super fun, fun areas? Uh, well, yeah, Bristol's got a handful of those. And Sessions, actually, is coming up. Well, Sessions building. Oh, okay. We'll talk about yeah, that. Yeah, we'll talk about yeah. that another time. Yeah, it's right. They have, so they, they have a plan. They're funding a plan because the, the Rockefeller Foundation also invo have heavily involved with the United Nations funding them. And this is all being top down delivered to us, the, the bus rapid transit. Now, what's the evil to it is they have a plan for us to, even though they're from wherever they're in, they're, whether they're in New York or whether they're in Sweden creating this plan, uh, they're creating a, uh, the plan for us to have a certain um, a standard of living, to not be driving cars. Uh, we don't want this, this many people driving cars, so we're going to have this many people. We want these people taking the bus, and we don't want any development going on over here, even though this is our local community, but they're saying it from mm -hmm. how the country's away most mm -hmm. of the time. So, mm -hmm. I mean, just that, just that level, that kind of level of centralized planning will have disastrous consequences. So, so, like the lying about it, what? the local lying about it, the local lying about the, it, the, the the people pretending that you that know, it is a local five hundred people here in Bristol all came up with this idea. Right. right. Well, that's just part of that well, to make well, it seem like it's a local. Five hundred people. Not. I've never seen five hundred people come together to do anything. anything. Right. Well, they right. Right. see a They said two thousand five hundred right. people, but. They, um, well, the BBC. Basically, what we learned was that when you look at all the pictures of all the events that they that they photographed, it was basically the same twelve to fourteen people showing. That's what I found. That's the way I saw it too. I think it was a false consensus. It well, was definitely a false consensus. And I remember speaking in front of the city council, and I said, you know, with all due respect to any Bristol well, riders, that's where Monty was there. Yeah, exactly. I and I, I think I talked great. to him. I said. Yeah, with all the respect to your Bristol Rising thing, but <laughs> notice how, on a local level, on a local level, this whole notion of Depot Square is no longer alive. I disagree. I I I, I disagree. I, 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 and that's I, I I don't I don't agree with that. I think it's dead and gone. Renaissance oh, yeah, Renaissance, or, or Renaissance, Renaissance is like. Renaissance well, uh, is, is dead and gone, and I think well, that was based yeah, upon a local effort. Uh, yeah, I think, exactly. I think that's a great way to show that uh, getting involved locally can happen, especially, like I always say, like Sean was a big part of that, and 
<laughs> now all I did was listen to the people and just, you know, everybody was complaining about it's going to be low income. And well, that's so why, I, and I didn't believe it. Until well, that's I read all the stuff, and, and that's then I was why like, oh my God, <laughs> why does anybody? <laughs> the big question: Why did anybody want to do that? Well, I don't think the concept is gone because it's a top-down thing, you know. Well, sure. I mean, because they say that that Renaissance came up with that plan because of the federal <laughs> money that they were They're the federal the grant. Well, they've got ten point five billion dollars in the tri-state area, so mm -hmm. it's the same. Yes. These are so another group is going to come that's here that's going to try to yeah. come up with the same plan of oh no, I got a different plan. It's going to be there's housing so, along. Why West do you think there's not already a group already here that's planning? Mm -hmm. that. There isn't one. You haven't seen it. Anybody trying to lobby or anything? Uh, uh, you know what, I'm not even going to... Let's save that for another day. Okay.